Ride with the mob, I'm voila. Check in with me, and do your job. Erg is the name, then baller did the chain. Tono for the watch, Prezi plain Jane. Ruby and Magini Jane, rest in peace to my superior. Hermes, link a feet of village in Liberia. TMZ taking pictures, cause I'm at hysteria. Mama C. Made a retail price of the bag is $30,000. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Coco. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, and you know how to spell Coco. Once I get to 50K subscribers, I'm giving away some money and free access to my Patreon. My Patreon link is down in the description. So I'm starting a new weekly vlog. Today is um, April the 18th. It's Monday. And this is going to be actually a little different and exciting because guess where I'm headed? I am headed to New York um, simply because I wanted to go to New York and uh, freestyle and see if I can find my sugar daddy there. Um, Holy Grail Daddy is there. So I'm going to be seeing him on Wednesday. But I'm also going to be trying to find other guys, other sugar daddies. New York has a lot of daddies. Okay, so we're gonna go to New York and I'm gonna show you guys for the girls that want to try out New York or for the girls that are always asking me to go to different cities and vlog it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go freestyling in New York and I'm super excited. I'm dressed, let me put you guys down. I have to go down to my car and get my tripod. Um, <laughs> so I'm wearing jeans. And I'm wearing this top. I got this top from Zara, and I'm pretty sure the jeans are from Zara as well. Um, I'm wearing jeans to the airport because it's literally an hour and a half flight, I believe. Um, so I'm literally going to be there in no time. So I want a little cute, and I booked a room at the Four Seasons downtown in New York because in order to hang with the rich, you have to pay to be there, you know, in order to meet rich people and hang out with rich people, you gotta act like you're rich too, right? <laughs> um, anyway, so I booked a room at the Four Seasons because I figured if I'm gonna go to the Four Seasons um, and go down to the hotel bar or whatever, let me stay there for one day. Um, it's a thousand dollar a night hotel, so I paid for today. Um, and we're gonna go see how, you know, the vibes is over there and um, the next day I'm probably gonna go to a different hotel and then still come back to the Four Seasons to freestyle though. But I figured I should stay there just for one day. And also, how else are you going to meet rich people if you don't put yourself in those places? So I'm putting that thousand dollars as an investment in hopes that I meet some guy that will give me more double, triple, quadruple that. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, that is what we're doing. Um, I'm all packed up. I'm taking my Kelly with me. I was gonna bring my blue Birkin, but it doesn't make sense because all my outfits are so many different colors and I don't wanna bring a whole bunch of different bags. So I'm just gonna bring my um, Kelly. And in here I have my um, phone, wallet, all of that stuff. My camera's gonna go in here. Um, and then I'm all packed up to my suitcase and I'm bringing my never full Louis, uh, Louis Vuitton bag because you know something I haven't used this bag in so many years um, So yeah, I'm bringing her because in there I have my toiletries um, I have jewelry and all of the stuff that I could not fit in my suitcase because I don't like checking in bags because a lot of my things are usually very expensive and if I lose one thing I will be like devastated so i will probably see you guys when i am in the airport okay but make sure you subscribe follow me on patreon follow me on instagram all of that great stuff let me um go ahead and get out of here because i cannot miss my flight bye Alright guys, so I have made it 
it to New York and I made it into my hotel room. Um, I told you guys that I booked the Four Seasons for one night just to hang out with the who's who's of uh, New York. So I'm in my room. I will give you guys a quick room tour. Um, it's New York, so you know these rooms are usually not like big. I mean, it's the Four Seasons, so this is probably as big as it gets in New York, but it's actually really beautiful. So let me show you guys the room because I'm in the bathroom right now and the bathroom is so pretty. So this is the sink. Get your toilet. And then we have shower. And inside the shower, it's pretty big. It's a big shower. Um, you got robes. And then when you come out of the bathroom, you have the front door. These are closets for, you know, hanging clothes, all of that stuff. Then this way is the room. I'm gonna have to do it from the other direction because of this window. But this bar is so pretty. Look at the bar. It's such a cute bar. So cute. Um, and then I get a little view of a downtown Manhattan. I'm on the 10th floor. And so then this is what the room looks like so just a nice size room I guess compared to what you would usually get for a hotel room in New York they have a little iPad here I don't know why it's not coming on but they have a little iPad here that controls everything but yeah this is the room um. So I'm about to head downstairs. I'm gonna get like a late lunch. Um, I guess it's gonna be a late lunch, early dinner. Um, and then I'm probably gonna come upstairs. I'm probably just gonna stay in this little cute outfit that I have on, my jeans and my um, shirt. And then probably later on, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go talk downstairs to the bartenders and to the people in the hotel and ask them like, where should I go? Cause I'm trying to meet some Jewish rich men, some, um, Wall Street men, some, 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 um, I don't know. <laughs> Hedge fund daddies, you name it. I'm trying to meet them. And so this entire week, we're working, baby. We're working. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's go downstairs. Heart full of equity, you're an asset. Make sure that you don't need no mentions. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Shout out to your mom and dad for making you Stay in innovation, they did a great job raising you When I create, you're my muse The kind of smile that makes the news Can't nobody throw shade on your name in these streets Triple threat, you a boss, you a bae, you a bitch For my um, vlog Just your hand I said cheers Just your hand oh. <laughs> Yeah, but Yo, I had a, I've only had a, a manicure like we could have to go. It's okay. Like, the jacket definitely works. The drink definitely works. Yes. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. <laughs> good morning, guys. Okay, so it is the next day. New York is giving what it's supposed to give um, for freestyling. Which is basically what this vlog is about. So it's a good thing. Um, so it's given what it's supposed to give for freestyling. If you are a black, beautiful woman um, and you have the money, because New York is expensive, okay? I am like, I mean, I am also staying at the Four Seasons, which I didn't have to, but I chose to because why not? Um, and I'm eating Holy Grail Daddy tomorrow. So hopefully he'll give me back all my money. <laughs> Um, we're going shopping, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, but last night I ended up going to a strip club. Um, I hung out at my hotel bar. I went to a strip club after and I met this guy. I don't know, but I'm about to find me a daddy for life. 
I am determined some rich wealthy man is going to snatch me up and marry me and like take me off the market because I met a guy yesterday at the strip club right and he came with beautiful women and like the strip club had beautiful women but he was like so stuck on me and mind you you're not allowed to talk or mingle at the strip club with other people so he wasn't allowed to talk to me so they could <laughs> they kicked us out because he was very persistent they ended up kicking us out of the club because he kept coming over and talking to me like and mind you i kept like trying to push other girls like strippers towards him but somehow he was like obsessed with me <laughs> but i googled him in his business it says he is worth 10 not him but like his business is worth 10 trillion dollars his business and he is the ceo and founder of the company his company okay and obviously there are a lot of people that work in the company and stuff like that so you have to understand okay how much money he has in his bank account and what his company um, is worth is two different things but his company is worth 10 trillion freaking dollars i swear to god if you were on my live this morning you know what i'm talking about because <laughs> i called him <laughs> I texted him. We talked on the phone right live on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin. And you know how to spell Coco. Because the girls on there get a little bit of, you know, the gist. Um, so this morning I went live and I was telling them, like, you know, I met this guy. And so I was like, you know what? I should text him or I should call him. So I called him. So I called him and he happens to remember who I was he met me yesterday and girl if I'm lying I'm flying <laughs> if I'm lying I'm flying and then again I like I said I'm staying at the Four Seasons so it depends where you put yourself um, I did meet him at the strip club um, so that was interesting but it's a strip club in Manhattan so there's that too um, so maybe that's why he the type of guy that he is would go to that strip club you know what I mean um, but anyways let me go ahead as you can see I am in my robe and that is because we are headed to the pool and spa to hang out and relax and just enjoy this afternoon I decided that I'm just gonna stay at the Four Seasons I don't know if I told you guys yesterday but I only booked one night but I'm booking another night at this point I've spent two grand on the hotel so I need to meet me I'm talking 50k a month type of daddy that would be appreciated <laughs> anyways let's go to the pool guys Hey guys, so I am back in the hotel room. Um, the pool was beautiful. It was super gorgeous in there. You guys saw that, but I was just sitting there. Um, I wasn't really planning on swimming. I thought maybe they would have like a hot tub or something there. Um, I mean, the pool was heated, so it was kind of warm. It wasn't cold, um, but it wasn't like a hot tub. Like I wanna, <laughs> I wanna go in a hot tub, you know. Um, so I just relaxed there for about an hour and a half. The music was nice. There was one other person there and then she left and then it was just me and a lifeguard um, there. So I'm back up in my hotel room because I'm about to shower and go downstairs and have lunch at my hotel bar because um, when I went downstairs to get a new key, it looked a little busy at the bar. <laughs> Looked a little busy and I feel like the only people that are going to be here right now are people that are actually staying at this hotel <laughs> Or people checking in Going to the bar, you know grabbing lunch. So I'm about to take a quick shower um, 
then get dressed, put some makeup on my face. It's gonna be basic because it's just lunchtime while I figure out what it is that I'm gonna do tonight. But I'm gonna, you know, shower, wash my face, all of that gets good stuff, throw on some clothes. And I just realized I might need some baby oil or something, but whatever. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Did they come in here and clean up? No, they didn't, which is fine. I don't need them to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go shower in this a uh, beautiful, beautiful, a uh, gorgeous shower. <laughs> it's so big. It's huge. But yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower, and I will see you guys when I am dressed and ready to head downstairs to get some lunch. I really want a Caesar salad or a Cobb salad. I feel like I want a salad. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. I am dressed and ready to go downstairs and grab some lunch and see what it's given, okay? Um, today's Tuesday, yesterday was kind of a holiday and it was Monday, it was the day before Easter. It was the day after Easter. Um, so, I feel like it was a little slow because of the fact that it was, you know, Easter, just the weekend before, and then yesterday was Monday, so people were probably just tired at home, relaxing. Um, I'm not sure if like people were working yesterday, but I know the um, bartenders downstairs at the hotel bar were telling me that you know their good days are Tuesday through Thursday. So, today is Tuesday, so you know what your girl is about to do is go downstairs, have some lunch. <laughs> well, I am actually hungry, so I'm going to get some food. But, you know, a glass of wine. Sit there and see if it's given anything. <laughs> I will show you guys my outfit. Um, I got this top from Zara Aritzia. One of those, these pants are actually from Sheen, are these Sheen? I think so. I think these are Shein. Hold on, let me see, let me look at the tag. I like Zara. <laughs> I mean, literally everything is from Zara. Top is from Zara, pants is from Zara. My shoes are Shein, actually. Hmm. I know, I'm the only person that will book a room at the Four Seasons, pay all this money, but walk around in my Shein heels. Your girl is humble, baby. Hopefully, the daddies are gonna start getting out of work. You know. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna be one fun, exciting vlog, okay? Subscribe, ho. Subscribe. You like it here. You love it here. You know I'm entertaining. <laughs> you might not like me as a person, but you know I'm entertaining. So subscribe, it's okay. <laughs> Join the family. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go down. Fans, yeah, like girls from my YouTube. All right, guys, I am dressed. It's Wednesday. It is my hangout with Holy Grill at Daddy Day. And I had a little outfit malfunction, my dress that I planned on wearing um, this afternoon. Actually had a rip on it, 
Um, I don't know what's up with like certain brands, Zara, um, Zara, Zara, but like I wore the dress literally once, probably last summer when I went wine tasting with TD. And the dress has a rip on it now. Like, I'm confused. But anyway, so I had to basically quickly switch my outfit. Um, we're going to lunch, so I ended up doing dress pants. So I will show you guys my outfit. Um, I can only really do it this way because, you know. So, this is my outfit. My dress pants. I have on my YSL heels. And this blue top, I believe, is from Zara. This is from Zara. No, this is from Aritzia, sorry. The pants are from Aritzia. Bag is Kelly. And yeah, so we are about to head to lunch. Um, so I'm actually running late as hell. And then I need to go and extend my room for one more night. <laughs> One more night. I'm leaving tomorrow. I promise I'm leaving tomorrow um, So let's go ahead and go downstairs because I'm late and I don't want him waiting too long. Okay, that is a holy grail to me. We don't want him waiting and my curls are just silly. So don't mind it right now I'll tell you guys what happened last night. I met a couple of you girls. You guys saw I met a couple of my Girls out here. We went freestyling the girls made some money Weird. <laughs> um, see at lunch. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog the lunch because you know he don't really know that I have a YouTube where I talk about sugar daddy and all of that stuff. So I told him I have a YouTube, but I didn't tell him what I talk about. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go. I will bring you guys along with me, but I don't know if I'm going to a vlog. So we'll see. Once I. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> but I'd like to. <laughs> I am about to head out to check out of my hotel. Um, yesterday was so much fun. Look at all my shopping. Look at all my stuff. I'm actually wearing my new bag he got me. It's super cute. <laughs> if you watch this video, thank you, baby. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to head out. Go to this fashion designer that I met um, here at my hotel bar. Go check out his um, studio in Soho. Um, and then my flight is going to be later on at some point today. I'm going home. Peace out, New York. <laughs> I will do like an unboxing of all of my stuff at, you know, home when I get home and everything. So let's go or I, maybe i'll do another collective haul you guys are probably tired of seeing collective hauls um but i'll figure it out let me take my stuff downstairs and give it to these people because um i need them to hold my bags until it's time for me to go to the airport so look at all my shopping this is all my van cleef <laughs> This is what my Louis Vuitton came out of. My Hermes is in there. I got some stuff, some Chanel. Um, yeah, goodbye, Four Seasons. <laughs> this was nice, thank you. Goodbye. Beautiful bathroom. Oh, so if you want to 
want to shout out your. If you want to shout out your. Our line? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Because one day when I have 100K or 200K, people are going to look back. They're still going to be watching the video. Of course, girl. <laughs> we'll do more. You can't yes, those I'm over here trying on dresses, guys. So. Yes, she is. This is one. Hello, I'm Rav. <laughs> I'm loving He's you some commando. He's not commanda. a sugar daddy, okay? No, no, no. <laughs> I look too good to be a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's my new friend I met in New York. But yeah, I'm trying out his... Uh, Dresses. Dresses and everything really is made right here in New York City. Mm -hmm. You know, we make it all beautiful exactly. fabrics, amazing <laughs> textures. Feels amazing. If you are in New York, I will actually, as a matter of fact, I will drop the site down in the description. Yeah. So go check them out. Yep. And shop. Shop buy, it. Buy shop something. It. Buy. This is like perfect with her Birkins. Simple, minimal, body Wait. with Birkin. Body with <laughs> this is so sexy. It's very like island ready, but wait, you can actually lift this down a bit like this. This is very oh, this cute. Is so it's so floral. You feel naked in this. And then you have the back opened like that. It's this like, it's like little kind of, yeah. thing for me. So I know, right? It gives you a bit of like... like this would what's... be perfect for my shoe. Would it? Yes. <laughs> Guys, this is so cool. I'm literally like and then, and then we do men, so all your like all the daddies can also come and shop. Like, Isn't that like, cool? Look like, like my hoodies from Travis. Oh like, wow. we do like like simple teas. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the back. No, I'll just take a little picture. But that one, this is like a brand new, this is like a latest one. I don't even one. have it on the line yet, so this is really cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Really oh. cool. Look at me. Look at you. Look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> no, so I guess, yeah, we, I mean, Decisions. I don't know, honey. Decisions, decisions. Like, when you walk, watch the um, you see because you can see how cool it is. Oh, you know, the whole, yeah. you. thank you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hi, you don't, you guys don't mind if I vlog this, do you? Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Oh, this is so cool. I want to see some products. Oh, right here. <laughs> Are you, do you live around here? No, I'm from Boston. That's why I was like, let me go in, guys. And if you want a hashtag in too. I will. I want a card. And um, yeah. even the website. If you guys have a website, I'll put it yeah. in my description. I was like, I hope it didn't just go off. What do you think? It's stunning. Isn't it beautiful? And it matches very, very well. Yeah, well, I have a good eye. Let <laughs> you see. Let's just show you. It's like a, like an eye cream, but it gives a great coverage, so yeah. it doesn't get cracky under the eye. Wow. Great coverage, and it's like butter. <laughs> it feels like... So it feels like you're putting on an eye cream, and yeah. then it gives great coverage. And you could also do it around the nose, a little under the uh, under the brow. Mm -hmm. It's really good for before you put on your eyeshadow as a as a base, like yeah. on the lids. You know? <laughs> um, giving, giving Naomi Campbell realness right here. You're absolutely beautiful. Are you modeling? No. Why not? What about uh, acting? I'm from Boston. Yeah, I'm more of an actress, yeah, but you're blogger, YouTuber type. Oh yeah, you're stunning. Thank you. you can do whatever you want. Look at that. Just beautiful. Hey guys. 
So it is a Saturday, April 23rd. Actually, it is the day that you are going to be watching this vlog. It is 4.46 in the afternoon. And I was actually editing this vlog um, earlier in the day. And I realized that I honestly <laughs> didn't get enough footage. Um, I didn't get our shopping like time. I got the lunch. You guys saw me, um, you know, having lunch with Holy Grail Daddy. Um, and then we went shopping after that. I didn't, you know, record us shopping just because it's like, I want to respect his privacy. And I just told him during lunch <clears throat> about my YouTube and what it was about. Well, he knew I had a YouTube channel, but he just didn't know what it was about. And so I just told him what it was about and you know, so I just wanted to respect his privacy and not record like while we were shopping. I don't know. Um, I just thought that would come off a little, you know. <laughs> um, and then also I was going freestyling with some of you girls. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I reached out and I said, hey, like if you're in New York City and you would like to get together, join me let's go freestyling so i did meet a few girls um i just didn't feel like you know throwing everyone on camera because um not everybody is comfortable with you know putting themselves out there like in that way um but overall new york was fantastic i had fun um on my patreon i just today posted places in new york that i went also places where the bartenders at the four seasons suggested where i was staying so go subscribe to my Patreon if you would like to, you know, see that list. And honestly, this isn't just for the girls that live in New York City. This is for girls that plan on visiting New York City in the future. Because let me tell you something. If you cannot find a sugar daddy in your state, <laughs> and like I said, if you're like me and you have a little bit of money to invest in going to different cities, and just, you know, going to fancy restaurants and fancy hotel bars and, you know, fancy galleries, all of that stuff, museums. If you want to do that because you really, 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 really want a sugar daddy, <laughs> do that. So I'm going to basically be traveling to different states um, and just, you know, giving you guys a list of places that you should try when you're in that state I started with new york city um and then next i'm gonna try to do la <clears throat> and then um but la is pretty easy beverly hills i mean you know really what is it rodeo drive where all the shopping happens all of that stuff um <coughs> excuse me who as you can tell i have fun in new york so i'm losing my voice <laughs> um but yeah so i got back yesterday and so i have a bunch of packages so i'm just gonna close this vlog with basically doing a huge huge unboxing of all my gifts from my shopping spree with holy grill daddy um i will show you guys my bag that he got me i mean a beautiful beautiful and the price tag on that bag the price tag on that bag when i say holy grail he's really a holy girl like he is a unicorn okay he is top tier <laughs> um but i got some packages while i was away so we're gonna open a few things i ordered some naked products um i don't know but this is like Aaliyah's faces friends thing um and I don't know, I just always thought the candles were cute and I wanted one of those body um, home decor thingies and she sells them. So, I got some. I ordered like, I want to say maybe two weeks ago. And they finally got here. So, it says naked co da, 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 da. Um, thank you for your purchase this is what the packaging looks like inside and so i just ordered 
a candle. <clears throat> oh, it smells so good. So this is what the candle looks like. It says naked. And I just really, really love what the candle um, is in. Like, it is just so adorable. It is so cute. So I got that. And then I got, is it, I don't know if it's the same candle. Wow. Okay, this is tiny. Um, but I got one of these ones. It's just different, you know, um, style. It smells really good. This is called a moon dust, and this is called, um, uh, are they both moon dust? They actually kind of smell very um, similar. I think I might have ordered the same scent, but just in a different candle holder. Um, but yeah, I think they're both moon dust, and it smells so good. Mm, actually, no, I'm lying. This smells different, but I don't see a name on it. Or maybe the name is called Warning. I don't know. It says Warning. So <laughs> um, I think maybe that's the name of the candle. Yeah, because this one says Moon Dust in um, the clear thing as well. Focus. Yeah, so this says Moon Dust as well. Um, and then this one says warning and it's the same kind of plastic. So I'm assuming that's the name of the actual um, Candles, that's the scent. So moon dust. This one says warning. It's just really cute packaging and then I got the body Sculpt thingy see ooh, ooh. imagine if I dropped it and cracked it I would be so upset so upset um but I bought got the body sculpture um, home decor this is actually so heavy Wow so this is what I got they're super cute and I'm just gonna you know set them somewhere in my house and like make my house look pretty but I don't know and I like supporting young black entrepreneurs um if i like their products like i'm not gonna buy a product just to buy it i actually have to like it and i've been following her stuff also seeing them on a lot of social media um influencers pages and i don't know i just thought it was really cute it goes with my decor and you know i mean everyone has one of these in their house the next thing i ordered <laughs> Girls always gotta try to make sure her address isn't showing. <laughs> um, so I got one of those Smeg toasters um, from William Sonoma. Let me get this out of the thing and I will show you guys, okay? I purchased this really cute um, a Smeg toaster and it's beige, it's cream, it goes with my uh, decor. Um, so yeah, we're going to put her somewhere. Courtesy of Birkin Daddy. So. We're gonna open this because this actually I've been waiting for this for a month now has it been a month yeah it's been a month um so for my vlog when I went to California to see Birkin Betty um, we went wine tasting <clears throat> and so we picked out some wines that I really really liked and so um we purchased some for me to have when i get home but because we're in california he had to have them ship the wine to me um so here we go it looks like they put like blue paper around the boxes to protect it i mean that makes sense they have to be like extra extra careful seeing that it's glass but <clears throat> it's 
going to be hard to try to get them out of here. It's double boxed and everything. Uh, let's see. Okay. There we go. That should make it better. Ooh. My wine. Ooh, you guys know I love me some wine. So this is a Pinot Noir. A Pinot Noir. Is it the same thing? Yeah. Savannah and Chanel was the name of the winery. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, oh, jeez. Savannah and Chanel. So I got that. And then I got two bottles of the Sauvignon en Blanc. Thank you, Birkin Zaddy. You guys know I love wine. He loves wine too. Um, <clears throat> so, that's one thing we have in common. <laughs> all right, so that was it for all of the uh, packages that I got while I was away for, um, you know, home decor stuff now let's go into my closet and get into all of the new fancy stuff that i'm going to be putting in my closet thanks to holy grail daddy i mean spoiled all right you guys so i am in my closet and i want to show you guys all of the cool and fun stuff I got from New York um, thanks to um, you know holy grail zaddy um, I'm actually gonna start with some of the stuff that I got from the fashion designer um, Travis Tadeo I believe I'm saying it right Travis Tadeo I'm going to leave his um, Instagram down in the description and also um, the website if you guys would like to purchase their stuff. These things are made in New York City um, and it is partially black owned, <laughs> technically. Um, so I got this really cute. Um, so I guess they focus on basics but very chic, um, comfortable, sexy but elegant clothing which is kind of my style I like to be sexy but I also like to be chic and I also really like being comfortable um, so I got this really cute basic black long dress um, it has a slit on both sides like this um, and then it has this back going on which is super sexy so it's like a backless long dress but it's like a basic dress to wear in the summertime um to wear for dinner if you want with some heels you can dress it up you can dress it down i just thought it was really cute um when i tried it on and like i said the slit on the side it's sexy it's also very comfortable but like i said it's a long dress so it can be dressed up and worn elegantly i also got this cream beige dress now this dress is definitely I feel um, a night out with the girls, dinner, if I can, hold on, <laughs> if I can figure out, oh, here we go, night out with the girls, a dinner with your significant other, um, you guys saw me try on the red version of the dress. Um, towards the ending of this vlog. So if you wanna go back and check it out and see what the dress looks like on, um, go ahead. But I will show you guys probably, cause tomorrow I have a photo shoot and I believe I'm going to be wearing this dress. Also kind of a basic dress, but it has a little kind of like, it's style to it. So 
it has this cut up on the side um, like this and then it has this rush, rustic thing going on here um, I'm not sure what you really call um, but you know when they do this like the seam on this dress I'm not too sure what that's called um, but it's super cute super sexy um, you know it's like it's a simple dress but it's the you know slit on the side and then this just adds some like it adds style to it you know this is like stuff I have to try on for you guys um so you guys will see me wear these dresses this dress I definitely don't think I'm gonna be utilizing as much but I'm going to try to use it for a photo shoot but it is an interesting dress the design of it so you have these two ties um, I'm actually gonna drop a video on the side here if you guys want to get an idea of what the dress looks like but it's super long um, it's like a goddess dress um, and then it has the slit and the bottom like a really wide slit so it's like it's a funky like interesting dress but it's really basic like it's a basic but it's interesting um, so I have a photo shoot tomorrow and I think I'm gonna use this dress as well and I send holy girl daddy the video that I just shared with you guys and he was like you have to get the dress so I got the dress <laughs> next we're gonna move into the next item or the first item that holy grail daddy bought for me um, and we were walking by the Bergdorf Goodman in New York City I'm hoping I said that right because that's my first time ever going into that mall um, but apparently it's a very like famous popular mall in New York City so as soon as we walked by he was like oh no we need to go in here because there are a pair of shoes that you need or have to have I actually need to take a picture <laughs> um, of my feet in the shoes and send to him because he requested um, but he got me my first Renee Covilla is that how you say it? Renee Covilla <laughs> Um, shoes I've actually seen so many um, you know influences hoes <laughs> post her um, brand and so it's shocking he has like his own it's weird he likes I think he likes shopping for women because he literally was like no you need a pair of these shoes you need to have these um, so we went into the store or the mall and he got me one um, so this is what it looks like with two dust bags get all the little things and so these are the shoes Stunning. Okay. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This is what they look like. So very shimmery. Very out there shoes. Um, they make your feet pop like crazy, but this is what they look like. Wish I can give you guys like a I mean a look at them these are so pretty these are so pretty and look at the bottoms are we kidding look at the bottoms even the bottoms are blinked out um these are real Swarovski crystals apparently um that's what our sales associate said to us this is what the bottoms look like I mean wow real Swarovski crystals all all over the shoes the heels the bottom so pretty look at that guys look real Swarovski is that how you say it? real Swarovski crystals all over the shoes I mean stunning and I needed to have these I have to have these so he picked them out so we have to find a place for these babies they're so cute I'm in love and you want to know the funny thing these are a pair of heels that I was going to order 
I can't remember where it was I was going. Oh, remember when um, TD took me um, to the ballet and I had ordered a dress and I ordered a pair of shoes and Saks Fifth took like a week or something um, and they still hadn't sent my package and I had sh like literally paid for like one day shipping but they never sent my package. These were the shoes that I wanted. Now not this silver one, but these were the exact heels that I wanted by the same designer. Um, but I never got it and look at that, now I have it. Then after that we went to drum row. VCA, Van Cleef, and our pal. And I will drop a photo here of me actually in Van Cleef with um, Holy Girl Daddy because there's a little girl hater that keeps commenting on my um, thing, like talking about some, all my stuff is fake, even though I always drop receipts. And I show you guys sometimes me in the store with him, whatever. But you know, um, haters are gonna hate. But baby, we have receipts. As a matter of fact, he just texted me today with the VCA bracelet that he thinks will look so good on me and he wants me to text the sales associate, um, the lady that worked with us, um, and ask her if they have it available because he would like to ship it to me. Period. So we have our little travel pouches. We got our pamphlets. I'm not gonna go through all this again, okay? We all know like in the pamphlet, you get your um, certificate of authenticity. My uh, certificate of authenticity right there. Someone had commented and said they were disappointed with Van Cleef because of the amount of um, paper they were using just for their packaging. So another travel pouch. <clears throat> then we have one box that has something in it. Another box that has something in it. Another box that has something in it. And another box that has something in it. So, um, we are going to go here and open that stuff. Let me put this down. Three booklets with ooh, Chanel with our three authenticity cards in them. We have all three travel pouches. Let's go ahead and open what he got me. Um, we're gonna start with this. This was a gift from the Van Cleef lady after he purchased all this stuff for me. And so this is just a candle, I believe. Um, and our pal, a candle. It smells so good. Mm, this is gonna go in my little thingy over there. Yay, okay. So, we are going to start with the small Van Cleef box. And now we're gonna open it and I'm gonna show you guys what is inside. And so I got the Alhambra pendant um, earring. <laughs> now this matches my um, necklace that I got how many weeks ago? Maybe three or four weeks ago. I got literally the same color um, in everything and it matches the color of the um, bracelet that I just got. And I thought that was perfect because then I could wear this with that necklace without having to wear the necklace that I'm gonna show you that he bought me because that necklace that he bought me is not an everyday necklace, okay? That's not something you wear every day. The one I bought for myself is every day. Now remember, I told you guys that I ordered one of the bracelets, um, or that I was going to order one of the bracelets. I really, I don't think I got a chance to, but I planned on it. But since he told me he was taking me shopping, um, let me take it out of here. Uh, it's hard to show you guys. But he got me 
the Alhambra pendant um, bracelet. It's hard to focus, guys. Um, but yeah, so he got me the Alhambra pendant bracelet that I wanted. Perfect. Goes like this. Gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. See that? So pretty. Mm -hmm. Last but not least of what I got for Van Cleef is a necklace. And now this necklace, this necklace, ugh. Oh, I wanted this necklace so bad, but it was out of my budget. <laughs> when I was looking at it, like how many weeks ago? I mean, I could have bought it, but I just, it wasn't gonna be something like, <clears throat> that was easy, okay? This was like 8,000 bucks. This necklace was like eight grand, okay? Um, alone. So we're talking eight grand with like taxes and everything. <laughs> We're looking at like almost nine thousand dollars, but so he got me the Alhambra pendant necklace, but with what two, four, six, eight, two, four, oh, sorry guys, two, four, six, eight, ten pendant. What that looks like? I mean, a stunning stuff. Nina, try it on. I'm not gonna put it fully on because I need someone to attach it in the back, but I'll throw it on for you guys to see. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Stunning. So just picture this with my earrings on with my earrings on this is what it looks like oh guys <laughs> oh my goodness okay this is amazing I'm so lucky because this alone was like if we're doing the math the bracelet was what 47 plus tax, so five. The earrings, 20 something, plus tax. So let's say three. And the um, earrings, oh, and then this, the necklace, sorry. The bracelet, let's say 47, five. Earrings, 20 something, three. This necklace with the 10 pendants. Um, was about 77 so eight you do the math okay that alone is a good 16 grand next was the um, Chanel store actually um, so we have something from Chanel um, I just really wanted a wallet so I got a wallet ribbons you know everything that came with it by the way the reason why all of these things were already opened was because um you know i opened them to show my instagram girls because they got to see it same day um to take a picture you know and also for my thumbnail i had to take a picture for my thumbnail but this is what the wallet looks like inside Ooh, comes with a travel pouch um and a you know the typical care package thingy how to take care of it all of that stuff um but yeah so this is the travel pouch and inside it's just a cute pink wallet i really needed a new wallet um i've been using this tory birch wallet for like how many years now so it was time for me to upgrade um i've been looking for a, a black chanel wallet for like months now but i couldn't find one um and then he was willing to buy me a wallet so i was like you know what who cares if it's pink you know 
Um, obviously, pink is not a color that goes with everything, but it's to throw in my purse. So if I'm wearing my Hermes um, Birkin or my Kelly or my Dior, any of my bags, I can have at least a cute wallet because why would I be walking around with a Hermes bag and a Tory Burch wallet? No offense to Tory Burch. Um, but you know, we have the we see um, the tag. So this is the tag. This is the price tag. Um, and so the inside, you have a coin holder thing. Um, you have card holder right here. Um, more card holder on the inside. And then yeah, just your coin thingy. And then there's this little pocket here if you want to stuff, you know, cash, whatever. So we are going to take all of the stuff out of this wallet and uh, throw it in my, oh that goes the Van Cleef, um, the Van Cleef card of the lady in New York, yep. I need to text her so or call her and ask her about my bracelet that he wants to buy me. So this, we're tossing this in the trash. Give me my pennies though. This is trash. Toss it. And now we have a new wallet. Oh, and Chanel authenticity card. Can't forget the authenticity card. I need to go put it where I put all my authenticity card and um, certificates for all my high-end stuff. This item, baby, it even like, it took me two days to figure out, to figure out what this man had literally just gotten me. Guys, <laughs> this last item from Holy Girl Daddy, when I say it took me, it took me like three days to figure out because I had lunch with him on Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, today is Saturday. I figured it out actually yesterday when um, the fashion designer guy was like, oh, well, what sort of um, a leather is that? Is that crocodile or snake skin? And then it had me thinking like, whoa, I should Google crocodile or snake skin version of this bag and when i saw the price the estimated retail price girl i was shocked okay because like to me it was like oh it's a louis vuitton box like okay like louis vuitton is a fancy brand but i wasn't expecting like what i was expecting especially because i went on louis vuitton like these sort of bags you can only get them if you are like a special person like it's not on the website it's not something you can go on the website and purchase so when i went on the website and i was looking at the version of these bags it gave me like the basic version and i thought oh i just assumed it had to be the same price as the basic version i didn't realize that this man got me my first ever crocodile leather bag. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. This is the inside. He was like, oh baby, keep, leave the box, throw the box. Uh, no honey, I got to come with receipts, honey, okay? So this is the box. Although some people try to say like, oh, they sell these, um, they sell boxes for um, bootleg bags, for fake bags. I wouldn't know all of this information because I don't buy that stuff. Um, but inside it has Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. And this is just like a pamphlet explaining, I guess, maybe the care of the bag. Um, and then we have some more Louis Vuitton. Um, stuff not sure what this is for let me show you guys and it's the subtle richness about the bag for me okay like you have to be really really rich 
No wonder the Asian women at the airport were looking at me crazy. They were looking at me crazy because I was like, why are these girls looking at me like that? But that explains it because you know, Asian women, they usually know. They know their bags. They know their bags. So this is the gift he had waiting for me a week in advance in New York. This is a crocodile trunk. Um, let me see if I can find the exact name on my phone. See if we can find the exact same. So it's a Louis Vuitton petite mal handbag, but this is a crocodile. This is a crocodile version. So the basic monogram version of this bag goes for I believe like five to six grand, um, depending on like. The style, the design, if you're just getting like the Louis V, Louis V version, like, cause you guys know like the LV, LV monogram is not real leather, right? This is Crocodile. The estimated retail price of this bag on Rebag is $30,000. $30,000 on Rebag. And you know Rebag, they don't lie when they put like the real estimates. They don't lie. That's how much they're selling the used version of the bag for. The estimated retail price of the bag is right there. And he got it for me. Brand new. Okay, when I say I'm the luckiest freaking person in the world, I feel so, so, so lucky. Um, and then I tried to go on a different site as well. You could go on Tradesy, and Tradesy also will tell you the estimated retail price of the bag is at thirty thousand dollars. And let me show you so you guys know this. I'm talking about the exact same bag. Just this is a green crocodile version, and this is a pink crocodile. Girl, and it came with a little strap so I can hold it like this, like a clutch, and then I can strap it and wear it as a crossbody bag. And this bag is perfect for like, I want to say everyday use just because it's so strong. Like this is a bag that I could like travel with, throw my passport, throw my thingy. It opens like this. And then this opens up. And then this opens up. I have some money in here. <laughs> some funds. <laughs> okay, because of course he gave me some money. <laughs> So after spending like a fifty thousand dollars on me, he also gave me some money. All right, guys. So I have put everything in their various places. Um, so we got my new baby up there on the roll of all of my expensive, um, my most expensive bags, except for the last two. I mean. That's my Javinci bag, so it's really not that expensive, but you know, this is the expensive row. And you know, when I get new Birkins, then these will move to other places, but you know, because I still have some other places I can put bags and stuff. Um, but yeah, so she's up there, my first crocodile and my first $30,000 bag. We are manifesting a crocodile Birkins, a crocodile Hermes, Kelly bags all year, okay? Um, but yeah, so I've put everything where they are. More a jewelry. Like, that's crazy how I literally went from a woman that had barely any jewelry to collecting all of this within a year. 
But yeah, so I got my watch back there, my Cartiers that stay on me, um, my newer stuff. Um, this is the single Alhambra pendant and necklace I was telling you guys about. Um, if you watch my vlogs faithfully, you know when I got that. But you see it matches this. So I can literally wear the earrings with that single necklace and my bracelet on a regular basis. But when I want to be extra and I'm going to go somewhere really, really nice, I can wear this. Um, and then I still have my cute dainty ones from TD. Then we got all my earrings. I need to go put the earrings for this here. Okay, I put her back, but yeah, so. The collection is a growing. Thank you, Holy Grail Daddy. Thank you, Breaking Daddy. Thank you, Tattoo Daddy. All of you guys are just fantastic daddies. So that is pretty much what has been happening all week for me. Exciting trip to New York, meeting some of you guys, shopping, seeing Holy Grail Daddy. Um, planning our next time to see each other. It's just been amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm closing it here so I can edit it and upload it for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you subscribe to my Patreon um, to learn more about you know how I'm meeting these men and how you two can meet them. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin. And you know how to spell a cocoa. Um, what else? But yeah, turn on your post notifications. And I will see you guys on my next weekly vlog.